hi my dear students today we will discuss about memory segmentation in the last class i discussed about the register organization and before that i explained architecture of 8086 please once go through the videos then you can clearly understand the architecture and register organization of 8086 now we are entering into the main main concept that is memory segmentation memory segmentation right so dear students please listen carefully this is very very important right now what is meant by segmentation segmentation means the exact definition of segmentation is the process of dividing the memory into segments the process of dividing the memory into segments is called segmentation remember this is very very important the process of dividing memory into segments are some parts segments are some parts called memory segmentation memory segmentation right now dear students now you please tell me what is the size of our address bus the size of address bus in 8086 the size of address bus is how much 20 bit the size of the address bus is how much 20 bit now now you tell me what is the the physical memory of 8086 so by using 20 bit how many memory locations we are having how many address locations we are having 2 power 20 the physical memory the physical memory is how much you please tell me that is nothing but 2 power 20 that equal to how much 1 megabyte right 1 megabyte so now now you tell me so what is memory meant by memory segmentation the process of dividing the memory into segments is called memory segmentation right now we have to divide we have to divide our the 1 mb of memory into segments we have to divide our 1 mb of memory into segments is called memory segmentation now what is the use what is why segmentation what is the use of uh, segmentation why segmentation the uh, the answer is faster execution of instructions remember the answer is faster execution of instructions right now now so 1 mb memory we are having 1 mb of memory that means c so this is total our memory remember this is very very important what is the size of the memory the total size of the memory is 1 mb so now we have to divide this 1 mb of memory into segments that is called segmentation so in 8086 we are dividing this 1 mb of memory into 16 segments we are dividing this 1 mb of memory into how many segments remember 16 very very important we are dividing a memory into how many segments 16 segments so let us consider this is one segment this is sg s1 and let us consider this is another segment s2 and this is another segment s3 and this is another segment s4 like that like that we are having up to how many 16 yes 16 16 segments and what is the size of each segment what is the size of each segment you please size of each segment is each segment size is how much 64 kilobytes 64 kilobyte that means this size is 64 kilobytes and this size is 64 kilobytes and each each segment size is almost 64 kilobytes 64 kilobytes dear students please try to understand what is meant by kilo what is meant by mega what is meant by gigabytes right i i am my laptop is 8 gb ram and 1 tb hard disk how many bits are there you please you please for that i am telling this you please pay attention if you want to know about the bits see 2 power 0 is how much 2 power 0 you please tell me 1 2 power 1 is how much 2 2 square how much 4 2 cube 8 2 power 
16 2 power 5 32 right 2 power 6 how much 64 2 power 7 128 2 power 8 256 2 power 9 512 2 power 10 1024 1024 that is equal to how much 1k that is equal to how much 1k now you tell me 2 power 11 how much how we can write 2 power 11 2 power 1 into 2 power 10 that is equal to 2k 10 means 1k that is 2k right now now you tell me 2 power 16 how we can write 2 power 6 into 2 power 10 2 power 6 is how much 2 power 6 is how much 64 into k 64k that means 64k means how much 2 power 16 2 power 16 now you tell me what is 2 power 20 2 power 20 is how much 2 power 10 into 2 power 10 that equal to how much 1k into 1k that equal to how much 1 mega kilo is 1 mega now you tell me 2 power 24 how much 2 power 24 2 power 4 into 2 power 20 2 power 4 how much 16 16 m 16 mega 2 power 20 how much 16 mega now you tell me 2 power 30 2 power 30 how much 2 power 10 2 power 10 2 power 10 that equal to how much 1k 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 that equal to how much 1 giga 1 giga remember this is very very important suppose i am having 8 gb ram i am having how much 8 gb ram that means how much 8 gb ram 1 gb equal to how much 1 gb is equal to how much 2 power 30 8 means how much 2 cube 2 2 ja 4 4 2 ja 8 2 cube that equal to how much 2 power 33 2 power 33 remember this is very very important 8 gb ram means how much 2 power 33 now you tell me what is 2 power 40 you tell me 2 power 40 2 power 10 2 power 10 2 power 10 2 power 10 that equal to how much that equal to how much 1k 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 that equal to 1 t b terabyte right now we are having hard disk of size how much 2 power 40 1 tb means 2 power 40 dear students please try to understand this is very very important very very important right now what i am telling is we are i am telling about memory segmentation remember um, what i am telling i am telling about memory segment in order to clearly know about this we should know about this we should know about all these things what is 2 power 0 64k means how much 2 power 16 64k means how much 2 power 16 now so our 8086 microprocessor divide 1 mb memory is divided into how many segments is divided into 16 segments is divided into 16 segments so why we are dividing into segments in order to execute the instructions fast execution so each segment size is how much each segment each segment size is how much 64 kilobytes 64 kilobytes so 16 segments is 64 kilobytes how much you please tell me 16 into 64 kilobytes you tell me please so per see 16 into 64 kilobytes 16 how we can write tell me 16 how we can write at least point 64 see 16 means how much 2 power 4 16 64 is how much 2 power 6 right 2 power 4 this is 2 power 6 into k k means how much 2 power 10 the total how much 2 power 10 into 2 power 10 that equal to how much 2 power 20 2 power 20 means how much 1 mb 1 mb dear students please pay attention this is very very important our 8086 our physical memory is 1 mb this mb memory is divided into segments each segment size is 64 kilobytes total how many segments 16 segments each segment size is how much 64 kilobytes okay now now we are going to the main topic right right so actually in out, out of 16 segments the 8086 microprocessor using only four segments 8086 microprocessor using only four segments 
what are those you please tell me we are using only four segments why because because of we are having only four registers what are the four registers are there we are regarding according to the segments that is data segment core segment stack segment and extra segment extra segment that's why we are using only four segments out of 16 segments how many segments we are using we are using only four segments segment means way different segment register is different already i told segment register means suppose if this is data segment the segment register holds the starting address the starting address or base address of that particular segment it holds data segment holds the data segment register holds the starting address of the data segment starting address of the data segment out of 16 segments in 8086 microprocessor we are using only four segments because of in our microprocessor we are having only four segment registers and the segment register size is how much all these register size is how much 16 bit all these register size is how much 16 bit so segment addresses so segment address will be specified in the segment registers remember the starting address of the each segment is hold by the segment registers that is address right so each segment size is how much 64 kilobytes 64 kilobytes 64 bytes 64 kilobytes remember this is very very important right so we are using for 64 kilobytes that means total how many segment how much memory we are using totally we are using 256 kilobytes 256 kilobytes remaining how many remaining how many how much kilobytes are there 3 256 256 kilobyte 256 and 256 these three right suppose let us consider this is 256 this is 256 and this is four segments 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 this is 256 this is 256 kilobytes and this is 256 kilobytes so these are so that's why we are having a maximum mode remember so this is what remaining all the remaining 3 256 kilobytes will be used for another micro suppose another microprocessor want to communicate then we another microprocessor also can access this type of memory another microprocessor also can access this memory right that is the advantage of 8086 microprocessor in 8085 there is no segmentation in 8085 there is no segmentations so if you when multiple processors when you are using then any other processor can use this memory they can use this memory try to understand this is very very important so this is about segment segment registers hold the starting address of the segment address starting address of the particular segment particular segment right now now we will go for so that is suppose let us consider in this is this is the memory physical memory and this physical memory let us consider one segment let us consider one segment that is data segment let us consider that is uh, data segment 2000 uh, so what is the size of the address bit address bit size is how much address bit size is how much you please tell me 20 bit address bit size is almost 16 bit but our memory that is our registers a size is how much register size is how much 16 bit now how how we can access the how we can access this 20 bit that can be using calculating the physical address remember is already i told this all all registers are how much bit 16 bit but address size is how much 620 bit how we can access this 20 bit by using 16 bit by calculating the physical address what is the formula for physical address physical address formula is segment address into 10h plus offset address offset address offset address remember this is very very important right so this is called starting address this one hold by the suppose let us consider this is data segment this is let us consider this is data segment so this data segment means this segment data segment register holds this data segment register holds how much 20000 right by appending zero then it will becomes zero so starting address always we have to append zero suppose i want this particular position that means suppose 
in this 1 2 3 4 5 fifth position i want by using which pointer then it, you can use instruction pointer you can use the instruction pointer that is called offset address that is called what offset address base address or segment address is same base address or segment address offset address is this one right in this way we can calculate the physical address this is this is already i told how to calculate so what my important point is by using memory segmentation we can execute the instructions very fast right now we are coming to the memory segmentation right once we will go through this segmentation is the division of a computer's primary memory into segments and sections in a computer system using segmentation is, is already done right yeah, all these are 16 bit right already we discussed there is a 20 bit address bus and 1 MB of memory 1 MB means remember this is 1,148,576 bits right e segment size is almost 64 kilobytes now advantages coming to the advantage first one segmentation provides a powerful memory management mechanism powerful management mechanism second one it allows programs to partition their programs into modules then operate independently one another operate independently one another segments allow two process to easily share the data that already i told right why because how we can share the two data actually we are using how much 256 kilobytes of data we are using remaining 3 256 are there so that's why we can use allow two process to easily share the data it allows extend the addressability to process segmentation allows the use of 16 bit registers to give an address capability of 1 MB without segmentation so it requires 20 bit but our register size is how much 16 bit possible to separate the memory areas of stack code and data so how we can divide the memory totally data segment code segment stack segment and extra segment like that we are having four segments right this is about the segmentation right in the next class we will discuss about pin diagram of 8086 dear students also please go through this very very important until then thank you